Did you see it? Hello, 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 and welcome to another week of The Voice of Reason. You I'm your ho- of course, Eddie's back. Um, again, <laughs> I'm your host, Nina B., and again, he finally decided to join us. Welcome back from whatever um, hole you were hiding in. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm back. Uh, it's good to be back, guys. Um, you know, S happens. S happens? S happens. Are we still on good behavior? Yes, we are. Oh, uh, yes. Very good behavior. You know, just sometimes you got to take a little bit of time out to reflect on some things and some, uh, you know, get personal issues together. You know what I mean? Are you running for a, a seat in the office? You sound like Diamond. You've been real politically correct right now. You just got to be careful with your words nowadays. Uh, oh, my know, God. Make sure, uh, you know, you cross your T's and dot your I's, things right. of that nature. You must have been acting up or something because I can't deal with this. This is too much. What are you talking about? And I also been alcohol free for three weeks. Really? Yep, three weeks. Really? Yes. So what are you trying to say? So since you haven't been here, like you haven't been drinking, is this like a no, no, <laughs> <laughs> no? I just just been uh, alcohol free and you know just working on me and uh, you know trying to trying to be a better person. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you sell bullshit. Um, okay. That's good. Congratulations Thank on you. your sobriety. Thank you very Are much. Are you going to keep it up? I'm going to try to, uh, but, you know, if an opportunity presents itself, then I will fall off the wagon. You'll fall off the wagon. <laughs> purposely. I'll what purposely. kind of, what kind of um, opportunity? I, I purposely, a, a good party. If a good a party. Good party. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's supposed to be one this weekend, though, right? Next weekend. Ne- yeah, the yacht party. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah so uh, yeah. I'll fall off the ba- the wagon next weekend. Oh. Uh, no, I, no, I think I'm going to fall off this weekend, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, at least you're honest. Okay, okay. I mean, you can't ask for much. He's doing his best. Anyway, um, but I missed y'all. Oh. I missed you. I definitely missed you. Oh. Oh, we missed you too. I was like, you know, this is Eddie. Like I was holding up like the little box. You know, I know y'all had was... jokes, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I would find out what was said. So I could, hey, at least I didn't do y'all. I didn't do you like y'all did me. What, what are you talking about? Like y'all fired me and everything. Uh, that was that was like the right. It was perfect timing with that. So you, you can't blame us. It was so much perfect timing with that happened with that. So I mean, it, it played out good. You came back. We let you come back. So. You know, I, but. I just love the way that he says they let me come back to my own show. Um, but it's cool. I love you anyway. Um, so nothing else has been going on? Nothing spectacular, exciting, or anything? you just been chilling? No, yeah, just been chilling life. That's what my weekends are. The kickball tournament was on Sunday. It was an excellent, excellent, excellent event. Um, we're really grateful for everybody that came out, supported, donated. Um, we are, you know, we we were able to reach our goal. We wanted to donate at least 150 uniforms. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we're, if not, they are almost pretty close to, you know, being able to achieve that Um we're going to keep everybody updated with the school we choose along with, um, you know, exactly how many uniforms we were, you know, able to donate and things like that. So because after we wait until school starts so that that way we can get in touch with a school and then find out who needs what. And then within that month um, during, you know, when school starts, we get to get the sizes and everything and give them to the, the children. It's not just a random hey, we just got 100, you know, larges and shirts, um, you know, 50 smalls and skirts. You know, we get the children exactly what they need. Awesome. So, um, again, thank you for everyone who came out to show support. We are already in plans for next year because this is something that's not going to stop. It's going to be every year, and every year is going to continue to grow and get bigger and, you know, to be able to donate even more. We're interested in – we're not interested, but we're also – planning something for the fall as well to do something yeah. for families 
Um, and of course, that was that was Diamond DJ Diamond K. Yeah, let so. me say <laughs> let, let me say something before you get off of the um, uh, kickball thing. I you know I realized something when I was up there. Please don't. And <laughs> we are not trying to associate anything. What? <laughs> what are you about to say? No, I don't, I don't even think you know. Okay, go ahead. Here come Jesus. I realized that next year mm-hmm. there needs to be a radio on fire team. Oh, okay. We appreciate that. that, that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. We appreciate that. People have fun. Yeah, they have fun. They have fun. People definitely have fun. Um, oh, you thought I was going to mention um, the girl who tried to open mouth kiss me? Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. You I were standing right there. Was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She is a sweetheart. She, yeah, yeah, she she's does, cool. Um, she's cool. She does work for me, you know, when I need her yeah, she's to bartend cool. and stuff. So, and maybe yeah. it was a mistake, but I didn't turn around. <laughs> because had I turned around, it was one of those it things was, where as though she was right there. So had I turned around, it would have been, you know. She tried to open the mouth and kiss you? It was a mistake. Well, no. Uh, no. No. That's not a mistake. That is not. It was mistake it was a mistake. Nina brought it to my attention I was but like, I oh, already you knew. almost got all that mouth <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all, y'all but I gave but but she just no he was just, turning she went to you know one of these and as she was leaning in to kiss him on his cheek he was turning around oh, man. so Call that's how oh. yeah, yeah it, it was like <laughs> and I didn't turn and I'm sitting there like is it gonna happen is it gonna happen oh, <laughs> the voyeur oh man <laughs> Hey, at least I, I'm honest about mine. Yeah. I like to watch. You should have slobbed it down. Yeah, no. No. Hey. Just as much as you like your life, I'm, I'm sure he likes his. So. You know what? It's not that. Um, hey, I just, you know. It would have been a mistake. Honest mistake. Have you, have, you, have you seen a water fountain, right? Mm-hmm. And it's in an area that a lot of people have drank from that water before. And you say, I'm thirsty but well, I'm not that thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Hold Don't on, do that. That. Hold on. What do you say? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I didn't want, don't, don't do I don't that. want no nice. water from the water fountain. Don't That's do all. that. Oh, oh, my gosh. Are you saying, are you relating this saying. to a public water fountain? <laughs> right. <laughs> are you relating her lips to a public water fountain? No, no. I just I just said, you I know said, how no, I think That's you what have you're a doing. water fountain. I, I think that's what you're doing. You're relating her lips. The comments are of Diamond K. She has, so very, she has a very nice body. With she the has show a very nice body. Or Nina B. Bartending. She has, she has a very nice body. And she's a really nice person. She is a sweetheart. Awesome. She is a sweetheart. But I just I wouldn't drink the you. water, huh? Wow. I just <laughs> wow. Anyway. You just, just couldn't drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> You're all a mess. See what I mean? Like, uh, hey. I thought you was on good behavior. I am. I am. But I, it, You're just it, staring uh, up stuff. No. It, that's what he, he used the analogy of her mouth being like a public water fountain. I did not say that. That is exactly what you Starting said. Starting stuff. See I what I mean? Said, that's what, what, what I I'm said saying. was, <laughs> have... You know, what if that ever happened to you with the water fountain? Two separate incidents completely. I mean, yes, we were in a park, but I'm just saying. It's, yeah. No, that, no, it would have been saying, hey, I would like some of that cake, but it's behind the glass, so I won't. That would have been understandable, but you said, I won't drink from that water fountain because it's accessible to a lot of people. That's, that's basically what See you... See what I mean? I, again, <laughs> listen, the comments <laughs> of Diamond K... And now this speaking, one. Speaking about a lot of people, can we finally put the rest, Meek Mill? Um, he like I I don't know like he he dug his own grave on that. Yep. He dug his own grave on that, and I think that the you know Drake's fans are just stomping him down further. And I don't, I don't even really think anybody has come out in his defense. Even his largest fans were like, well, what the hell was that? So, even other people from Philly is riding with Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, he had Will Smith and, you know, Kanye West Drake up there is, laughing at the slideshow. He's taking it to a whole new level. Yeah. To a whole I mean, level. but Jay-Z did it. You know, sure, the sure. Jay-Z didn't do it like that. 
No, no, yes, he, he didn't. Yes, no, 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 no. He this, had that this, man. In this, a, he did a 2002 his, um, version. This is a 2015 yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say because he put him on the Summer Jam screen like it was nothing. With a tutu, you on. know. That yeah, was, and his, so I mean, he ain't on the tutu, but you know, he had on his dance class stuff. He had on a leotard. Um, oh, okay. How did you have yeah. on a leotard? Okay, I mean, so okay, it wasn't a tutu. But you know, whatever. But what I'm saying is that he did it. You know, and and now Drake has done it. So you know, it's what? a they in there. The 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 the. the the calculatedness, the 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 way he did it, it was just the timing was so perfect that Meek almost dug his own grave. Like well, he, he, no, he, he killed did. Himself, he killed himself, dug his own grave, threw himself in there. And here's the thing: when he is on tour, and and that's why you know I think I, I think that Meek should stop responding. Um, no, and, keep on. And, no, keep on, I think keep, he should stop. It, it makes it it makes it funnier. It no. makes it funnier because he 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 just making himself look stupid. He well to who because he when he goes on stage at night he's going on stage to Nicki Minaj's fans. Yeah, Nicki Minaj's fans. These are but, tweens. Yeah, but this is what you doing? You you going out? Yeah, fuck niggas who don't do this and don't do that. Man, come on, you're not even you're not even doing no no tracks. You're not you're not putting right. out no. Fake. Well, he did make a, a response, he, he but it was a, garbage. It wasn't garbage. It just yeah, it wasn't it wasn't up to par with with uh, back to back. Okay, wow. It wasn't up to par. It definitely wasn't up to par. Like, the the bars were, were mediocre. Okay, uh, so, again, it was garbage compared to what he usually would do. Not, no, that's typical Meek. It's typical Meek. It's just that the, the, his nah, bars his wasn't st- up. his stuff was, is, has been better. It, the, the beat was, I like the beat, but his bars were not up to par. Meek just don't You know why? Me. Because it was rushed. And he didn't have no, time. It wasn't rushed. He, it, it, wasn't rushed. It, it definitely was rushed. It was rushed. It was rushed. It had he to be respond- rushed. He's on tour. Yeah, so he's on tour. You know, he didn't take time to so, craft a good so you song. So you saying Drake rushed two songs? Drake is on tour. Um, he's on his OVO tour. Yeah, he so rushed. Dr- Dr- he rushed his two songs too, but his songs don't sound rushed. Anything done fast is is rushed. Now you can cook something quickly, and you had the flame low enough, and it didn't look crazy. You can cook something quick. And the flame be too high and it be destroyed. Drake so, is just he's better in the kitchen. That's, that's yeah, all. absolutely. He's better in absolutely. the kitchen. Uh, he's, okay. He's more calculated with his. Well, speaking of um, Meek, you know, associating it with Nicki Minaj, I posted a video clip earlier that I had fa- I had come across, and when what's her ex boyfriend name Safari? Safari yeah. When they were together. Oh um, yeah, I did see that. You I did, did see yeah. it. And she told him, shut up, security, security. Yeah, she was yeah. like, something, something groupy. Because he was like, well, I think we should take more pictures. And, yeah. you know, the setting the third. And she was just like, you know, something, you know, something, something, something groupy. Go, you know, go somewhere. And yeah. then when he was trying to talk to her, she was just like, security, security. So my question was, you know, do you think that money and status determines just how much respect a woman gives? Well, the question was posed to ladies. You know, if... The money and status of a man determine how much respect you give him because there is no way in hell any man that I've ever dealt with, I don't care how broke or how much money you have, that, you know, I would have treated them that way. Um, she was very rude and disrespectful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and if you, Nicki Minaj, in the clip that I um, posted earlier, so who? So, so Safari. Safari. To but, Safari. you know, but when she got with Meek, then pictures were all over social media of them two. That, she was showing her love to him. That's all promotion. Know. That's all promotion. I, I okay, but she was with him. She was with Safari. Like, well, promotion for what? She didn't, Safari, need, I, she didn't need to promote her album with she, You know, she, her, her image was more so single. That was her single image. No, she's always been in a relationship. I know she's with him. always been with him, but what I'm saying is she had she had more of a, a image of being a, a single person versus now she uh, she she's trying to be on a Jay Z Beyonce type thing. But you she know was never mean? secret about her relationship. She wasn't secret, but it was more so okay. He's in the background. He's going to stay there. He's never surfacing. But that's what I'm saying. So does it, because he didn't have money or status. It's notoriety. Uh, because he didn't have the public notoriety, that's why it, it wasn't financially beneficial or promotional for her image to to have him up. He was just a hype man. Yeah. <laughs> or to he was just a hype man to the average person. Uh, hype uh, man, ghostwriter. Uh, yeah, and a and a collaborator. But yeah, cuddle buddy. Yeah, but if it was if it was somebody like. Um, you know, that's on the same level. Let me say this. The Meek Mill thing with her and him is not going to last. 
Well, they've already uh, she's gonna been be on, saying that it she's gonna was She's going to be on to the next. She's going to get somebody with better, with higher status, not lower status, but higher status. Well, do you think it's because of him losing this? This sped this? it up. This sped it up. Because now he's going to be frustrated. You know, well, because you gotta, you know, he gotta look at her, and that's her, you know, that's her friend. She said, "I I washed Kim up, and you couldn't wash Drake up. Maybe I need to be messing with Drake." I, well, I don't think they've been saying like that they've that. been messing around for a long. I time I think anyway. that they have. I just don't. They haven't come out and said it because it wouldn't. Have, even though they have Drake has more status, I don't think it would have been beneficial for them being in the same camp. Drake would have said it. He he would have said it. In no, the, he no, yes, he wasn't. He no, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. And and uh, Charles. He's up. never even really come out and said anything about Rihanna until it was uh, you know yeah. a little spat. No, he said it. He said it when when Chris Brown came at him. He, he that's like, what I say. And, and that's it was. That. A, yeah, he only she, addressed stuff when he has to. So, right. He, he has he good he PR people. <laughs> he has PR. great. He's hand, from Canada. He has good handler handlers. They have free health care. Right. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. They, he doesn't. Like you said, he doesn't address anything unless he absolutely has to. There have been people that have come at him, all you know, in the past. You know, people always go at him because he's not really like the quote unquote thug or you know a, an all around tough guy. He's a sweetheart. He's a gentleman. You know, his voice is all soothing and things like that. Um, so people will always come at him. I think but, Drake. I think Drake hasn't touched it. I think he wanted to. I think if Drake, I think if Drake had have touched it, I think he would have said something. I just see Drake being that cocky. I see. I see him being that cocky that he would have said something. In in either one of these two uh, diss tracks, charged charged up. He said a lot. He said a whole lot, and a lot of people missed it because it was like the the tone was so dull. But a lot of people missed all the the shots he was taking at um, different people. Uh, back to back, he he killed milk, killed Meek. He de- he dest- right, <laughs> tongue tied. Yeah. He destroyed him. He destroyed me. But uh, I like. I well, like he could have just dropped that one line. Um, what did I say? My favorite line was last week. Diamond, the 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 line with the. Um, it's not a world tour. It's your girl tour. Your girl no. Tour. Um, what what did he say? These chick boss bitches out here, wife and niggas, or something like that. Yeah. You know, like shots. That was, that was a, he didn't had to say nothing else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So this not what she meant when she said you should open up more. Oh my goodness! Wow. I, I mean, I mm, I don't know. So back to the question though, um, Diamond, you don't think it has anything to do? Like, I mean, if a woman respects you, she's gonna respect you. She should respect you. I mean, you got you have to watch. I don't think you seen the video, Diamond. Like she was really treating him like he I was beneath her. I haven't seen. He is. I haven't seen the uh, the video in question. The alleged video. But I have dealt with high-strung women who think they all that. And that's how they talk when they're mad. And it could have been a moment where they was mad at each other. It, that's, the way they, that's the way they interacted. You know, like and it was people, that's absolutely it was the way they interacted. Around. They've they have been known to trash hotel rooms, uh, have arguments. Um, police have been called to their, their, their residence that they shared numerous times because of the, the level of arguments and, and how... Um, volatile things got so, yeah, so that, that it, doesn't surprise is me. Is it because of his, like you said, notoriety? If had he been, oh, uh, we're talking about no. It's well, no, because I'm of about Nikki's. The it's because of Nikki's personality. It doesn't matter who she dates. She's that type. Whereas though, she's just going to turn up, and then later on, she's going to be sorry and crying, and yeah. But at the moment, you you don't know the type. What are you trying to say? Oh, I'm just saying. He just asked your question. Do you no, know that no, type? No. Like, he slid me. Mind your business. Whereas though, whereas though, you, just, whereas though you, I mean, whereas though the person turns up and, and just gets wild, crazy, right, and then later on, it's like, you know, I don't know. It's After they I was just, it over. I was just really upset. I mean, it's a, I had a bad day. Listen, I'm I'm a girl first before I'm anything, and we have our moments. Especially, you know, during that time when that PMS monster wants to chew everybody's head off. I'll be the first to admit that. Um, You know, I don't usually say that I'm sorry for anything unless I really mean that I'm sorry for it. Things happen. You know, we have an argument. You know, you say some rude and disrespectful things. I do my best to hold my tongue these days because I know how hurtful I can be. Um... Once I've gotten to the point where I feel like I want to put my hands on you, I need to leave you alone. I know me. Um, but there are a lot of females that will do that. And those are just the ones that are in toxic relationships. Yeah, it's a lot of those out here. And that doesn't have anything to do, you know, with money, you know, 
for me. I'm just saying uh, with that money, video. Money could play a, a big role in that. But uh, if you dating bums, then that's your fault. But he wasn't a bum. I mean, he, he was what? I'm I'm, not gonna say but I'm not speaking about them in general. I just posted oh, okay. the video. I was just saying, I, in general, do you think that money or stature or notoriety plays a part in the type of respect that a woman gives a man? Yes. I just posted I that think, video because it was very rude and disrespectful. Yes. And I think that's the, that was the, the just how their relationship was. They, that's just In general, not them. In, I'm, I'm in asking general. in general. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, think, in, in general, yes, I think. You know, do you keep does Keisha treat Chuck or Tyrone, <laughs> you know, or, or Tyrone yeah. like trash because she's a nurse and he, you know, yes. you know, yes. she don't, he don't make no money. He flipping burgers at Burger King. Is yeah. is Keisha from Cherry Hill? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Or Westport <laughs> or Park Heights? If Keisha was from Pike or anywhere in Baltimore, way, <laughs> more than likely, yes. If she was from and Pike, and if the woman is making more money than the man. She definitely feels a little bit more um, reason to act a fool. Act a fool. Act, act a, fool. a fool. So, so let me quickly reference um, "You Are Not the Father" my book, which is on Amazon. Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to talk about my <laughs> former son and my former son's mother. So after after we found out that I was not his biological father. Mm-hmm. After a, and, and you, you know kind of how our relationship was. So after that, I figured that our relationship would be better because I found out that I'm not his biological father. His actual father did not want to be in his life at that time. So I said, let's not change things. I, we don't have to tell him. He's too young. Mm -hmm. uh, he was seven years old at that time, going on seven. So I felt like, we just need to keep things the way they were. That's mm -hmm. a real stand up. And right I there. thought that that was going to make everything better. Really stand up. But because she had this upper hand now, it made her act worse. Whoa. Because she said, well, we're going to do this because you're not his father anyway. We're doing what, what I say Whoa. about different things. And so I'm just saying, so if a woman has an upper hand, a lot of times, not all times, but a lot of times, it's going to make them take it even further in arguments. So when, when that happened, what, what was your backlash to her I, like how'd you respond to her when she said well you're not his father anyway it hurt it hurt um but uh my love for my former son Stop made me uh, uh go <laughs> forward and and i dealt with it for five more years wow until i reached a point where i couldn't do it no more and what, i said you got to treat me like 50 percent of this or i can't do it and she was like well fuck you then well, was that because you didn't have any money back then, or what? no, no, it wasn't that? I, <laughs> but what, are you just too nice of a guy? What, what, what do you think? No, I just, I just think sometimes some women are bitches. I think she did that because you probably were too nice of a guy back then. Okay, so um, maybe I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Diamonds maybe. and he's always but, been but, an asshole. But let me say this. No let me say this. I've been it. accused of a lot of things, and I, I don't think I've been accused of that. I think I, she said, "Okay, this fool is going to go ahead and do this." What I'm assuming. Sure, sure. Go ahead. I'm assuming she said. This fool is going to go ahead and stick around even though he knows it's not his kid. So I'm just going to run his ass ragged. You have some people that don't think that way. It's a lot of trifling chicks out here. Oh, yeah. You're talking hey, about deadbeat dads. I wouldn't, it's a whole I lot wouldn't, of I wouldn't put it past her. I don't think that that was the case, but I wouldn't put it past her. So now she's thinking, you you have her thing and her cooch is gold. No, 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 no. That's, no, no, what, no. You, that's what you had to think We had, we you, had messed around for many years. For, all right. Many years. I was We were in separate relationships. Completely separate relationship. Oh. We weren't together. Oh, so you wouldn't even you wouldn't even smash. Him. He was just still being. He just uh, still you being, know, a, being a dad. A father. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Did she call you mad? Diamond, you ain't get his stuff. Did she call you like that? No. Oh. Uh, he okay. lived with me for most of his life. Wow. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, speaking of you know being, well, not. I don't know. I'm not even going to try to associate that with this. I was about to say about the step parenting um, situation. There's a whole lot of this Sierra and Future beef going on right now. Um, nice. And once we where do you once who, we talk about this, I want to we we have um, someone that I wanted that is going to be calling into the show so that way we could talk about his project. Who who but, where where do you fit at in the Sierra Future? Uh, Russell Wilson, baby future drama. For me, um, I've been a step parent. 
And I was the, well, you know, I'm bossy. Um, no. Shut up. <laughs> um, I was the one that called the, the mothers and was just like, you know, you will want to know who I am because we do live together. Mm. Because it was a lot of drama, and I, I'm not for it. Like, you know, we live together. And I had their kids, their, their daughters, most of the time. So it's just like we don't have to like each other, but we do need to get along for the sake of the child. Yeah, but three months in? No, well, we were living together and on our way to marriage. Within three months? No, no. I'm just saying, no, what, at, the, at the point of where our conversations took place, th- that's what he and I, me and my ex, we were living together and on our way to marriage. Well, right now, Russell Wilson and Sierra are three months in, and he's, he's pushing a stroller. Hugging up all, all on the little boy. So what y'all want to treat him like crap? The little He's the coming. little boy was hugging him. He was chilling. So right. do you would you rather somebody treat your child like tr- your crap? Or I would, just not acknowledge. Him? I would rather my my child not even be around that person after three months. That's too soon. That's too soon. Mm, okay. I think three months is too soon. But it's okay. I just disagree, not, homeboy. Not on three months. I disagree. Say again. Not at three months, but it's okay at some point. Just not at three at, months. At some point, is it is it okay to take the condom off after three months? Oh my! Definitely. What, how, where, where, where did that? Where Definitely. did that come into? I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> I'm in a grand Is it okay? <laughs> is it okay to meet her or his parents at three months? Uh, yeah. Is it okay to eat her pussy in three months? Yeah, I mean, you, you built the comfort zone right there. But like, not with a is child. Is it is Kids? it okay to make her breakfast in bed in three months? Man, that's that is not on the so, same. So so that's yes. It's not I, on the same I'm just level. asking no. some. I'm just asking some questions. We just it's, asking questions. It's not on the same. Is it level is it okay to pay her rent in three months? That's up to your pockets. Is it okay? <laughs> that's to, up to your pockets. <laughs> is, is it okay to claim her in public and walk around, hold her hand, and all that? That depends on the on the guy. Tony, have they been public for three months, go, or have they only been in can the relationship? Can you go on a Can you go on a trip? Can you take her on a trip in three months? Sure, sure, but you, so you, if you talking, can do all those talking, things and you can meet kids. a kid in three months, no, you're talking about kids. I mean, what if you're one, with what if you're with not, her every day of the three months, every yeah, day, not just no, on weekends? That, that's just taking it too far. No, it's not. No, but that's that's, not, that's taking, reality because taking, you have that's, some that's people that is reality no, for not, some that's, people that's, in dating. No, it's not being responsible in dating. It's not being responsible. It's not thinking about the bigger picture, because for one, in three months, nine nine times out of ten. That person, y'all not gonna be together another, after another three months. Everything gonna fizzle out. How long so, you been in your relationship? Three months. Right. <laughs> three, three months. I, I mean, mean we gonna stick I guess for months. me, like I'm, being on both sides, like I, I have, you know, I, I don't have any children, and with me dating um, men with children, it was different for me then. Where is the you dating where, men with children, multiple yeah. women? Yeah, I've had okay. I've dated no, no, right. guys with children. Okay, don't, don't. Okay, just checking. Sir, my ex. Um, at that time, I was more, I was more open to meeting the kids, doing things with the kids, um, having that unit or whatever. Now, I can't say that I would want to do that because of what it was that I how how things fell apart for me and my ex after because I was so attached to the kids even after we split. It was, I'm going to move here so that that way we can still, you know, share responsibilities and things like that. And I'll get them on these weekends. And then when things got really bad, that was the only way he could hurt me was to remove them from my space. So now it's if when I'm, you know, when I'm with someone or seeing someone that has children, it's like, oh, okay, you got kids. And that's where it is for me. You have so are, kids. Are you, so do you, do you limit your interaction with the kids right now i don't even make it um an issue or a point to want to meet people's kids you see what i'm saying and, and but that's me that's me it's you know who's to say you know he first of all it's not like he, they have um like a 10 year old he's still a toddler you know what i'm saying and i don't see anything wrong with if a person wants to be another you know role model in a person's life he's not doing anything wrong to that baby um you know it's but they they built an attachment and and he's not going to know the difference he's a baby when this when this thing bottoms out she rolls out but that's not fair you can't say that because you have a relationship that that made it past three months when was you fucking raw you can 
Was you fucking raw within those three months? We're not talking about me. We talking but about Russell Wilson or Sierra. <laughs> oh, see, see what I mean? He fucked see, raw he day screwing, one. He was screwing raw, you know, within the day first three one. months. And then, you know, and then. We're not talking about Eddie and my penis, okay? <laughs> yeah, because he's on good behavior right now. So let's not get him in trouble. All right, check, check, check this out. I think, and this is my opinion. I think that it depends on the situation. So let's say that you're dating. That. Let's say that you're dating a married man or a married woman. They don't need to meet your kids, right? Right. This is just a fling. Right. Let's just say you just see this girl on the weekends. She may not need to meet your kids. But if you if you are and they both said that they are practicing abstinence until they get married. They plan on they getting have, married. They plans. This, this is not just the I want to see like. He's making a commitment. He's somebody that can get a lot of chicks. She's somebody who can get a lot of guys. And, she, and, she and they're both saying that they're going to wait. This is attention. This nah. Is a, this is a, you don't you come public and say this unless, for, yeah. this You can't fault a person for being in the public eye and what the other people put you, out there. That's just like with this whole Drake and Meek thing. Yeah. Look, but no, but just no. like the whole Drake and Meek thing. It would not be as big as it is had it not been for everyone who follows them both. This chick messed with Bow Wow, 50 Cent. And you didn't date. Uh, oh, now, now, Eddie. In, in future. Now, Eddie, don't, so don't make it seem like you've only dated two people. Again, we're not I think talking she, about I me. think she upgraded because most of the guys she dated filed bankruptcy except for future. Uh, she's upgraded, yeah. Oh, oh, she definitely upgraded. What do you got, like 86 million? 88. <laughs> 88? Oh, let me not miss that, well, too. Well, all right, he doesn't have 88. <laughs> He's got 60 million guaranteed, all right, which it, it still isn't a drop in the bucket. <laughs> It's, so it's, it's, it's secure, hate, buddy. Just hateful. It's, just hateful. Okay, he, he, has has a, he has a little, all that money. He has a little a, bit more money than Bow Wow. Okay, is that what you're saying? Well, I'm saying he's got sixty million. You say just 80, so hateful. But, I mean, the, the, he's got sixty million. Technically, he's got sixty million dollars. Uh huh. Okay, which uh-huh. is which is a nice little lump sum of money. Uh huh. Okay, but. I mean, this is attention seeking. They how they, they seeking attention. Are they Her the one? Him. Are they putting the pictures out there? Are they taking the yes, pictures? They are. And they're yes, the they one are. who they're yes, throwing they the pictures they're, out they're there. They're doing it because they know people are gonna take pictures. They that's why they, they are it. stars. They're they're stars that don't want to have pictures taken, and they still are taking. Then why don't she just? She got to stay in her house all the time. No, she can't she go nowhere with house. them. She can't do nothing at all. I'm not, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. But make it a little bit more like not make it a little bit more private. Don't how? have your, don't have your kid out there knowing. All right. If Future was to do that, have his son around a, another woman or whatever, she'd be going Are crazy. Are you talking about Future and um in his horse ways? When you know what I'm saying, like right. they was just like, fresh out of their relationship and he was up in the strip club with other chicks. Like no, he, no, he, no, 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 no. Guess he what? No, he wasn't. It was on social media. It was on social media because it was media, put out there. No, but he because said he was okay with putting it out there. That's not what he said. He he said on on Breakfast Club, he said that that wasn't the case. He said they were long broken up when that stuff started coming out. That stuff started coming out. They were long broken up. It wasn't a. It wasn't a fact that he cheated on her. It was a fact they just went their separate ways. And she didn't. She didn't really like. I didn't say he cheated on her. I said that he was you already was doing a, something you were right insin- after. You were what did I just say? You were insinuating. What did I say though? You were what did I say though? You were insinuating. But what did I say? What leading, I said you was to, you were leading to that man cheating. What on I said was no. You were no sooner they something. were out of their relationship, he was in the strip club with something. Listen. But you, Linda. Believe, but you were leading to something. <laughs> no, what I said was his horse. Uh, I was talking about his horse right, race. You said horse and race. No, so, okay. no sooner, so you can, no sooner he got out. No sooner he was out of something with somebody else. He was into something with somebody else. Why so, can't, but, why with, can't a man but it's okay for a man to do it. But just because she's moving she can on, go to a strip club, sure. Why anyway, moving club? on. So, uh, uh, Diamond, we're going to call um, Titus James and talk about what he has going okay. on because Eddie is over here just running off. All, all I right, want to so, say is so a lot of So, definitely let, let us know, <laughs> let us know of, your thoughts on this uh, future <laughs> Sierra stuff. In the strip club. A lot of, really? A lot of business moves are made in the strip club. Something is seriously, seriously wrong with you. Ask anybody. A lot of business a- moves are made in the strip club. Did you say ask anybody? Ask. I said ask. You didn't listen. You didn't hear the K at the end. Oh, my goodness. Right. Anyway, while we are trying to get Titus James on the line, um, because, you know, Eddie throws me off so is bad. It, is it this uh, five, five? The top number. That yes. Okay. It, he throws me off so bad, and we didn't even give a chance to, you know, give the number to call in. Nina, we didn't get I get your endorphins flowing. Like, 404-436-1277 if you want to call in. You know, of course, you are here with us on Radio on Fire. That's right. The Voice of Reason each week, every Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. Um, 
I don't know what I'm going to Somebody help me. Jesus, God, Is this Chris? please pray. Is that Chris? Mm-hmm. You know him? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. Cool. Very cool. Um, so, again, as Diamond stated, you can give us a call to give your thoughts on some of the things that we were talking about today. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you were, I, 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 No, you're fine. <laughs> it was just very, very loud. Hello. How you doing, Titus? All right. That's good. Well, we have you live on air, the voice of reason. Um, I told uh -oh. you. Yeah. Thank you for taking our call. Um, I wanted to let everyone know. Everyone know. I'm sorry. We have Titus James on the line. He is one of the writers for. Um, what's the name of the? You want to give everybody the information? Uh, never say I do. Never, never say I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Um, and it's on Wayward Television. Um, on YouTube, you can find it on Wayward Television. Okay, yes, yeah, a web series, right? Yeah, it's a web series. Okay. Um, it's about, um, have, well, have you already gone over what it's about? No, not, not yet. I was just going to leave it up to you to tell everything that you had going on. Because me and Eddie, uh, of course, every week was on here arguing. So, you know, arguing, it, it but, cut into uh, time. Healthy, healthy debate. How you doing, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. And you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. No, but um, right. just to let everyone know, it is a web series. It's called Never Say I Do. It takes you on a matrimony misadventures, on the matrimony misadventures of three friends who are uh, married and their one single friend who's determined not to follow in their footsteps. Yeah. You know, so. Absolutely. Okay, so you want to. Well, go yeah, ahead. I, I, well, it's up to, you're leaving it up to me. All right, fine. Cool. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so this is the deal with the show. I mean, like, you know. When I was when I was young, you know, you know, you got married. When I saw people getting married in their early twenties, you know, it was normally because, you know, they had a baby, or you know, or maybe they were going away, and maybe they felt like, uh, you know, maybe they felt like their high school sweetheart was the person they loved, and then they turned thirty and they looked up and like they like, damn, you know, maybe I wasn't ready to get married. You know, I'm, maybe I'm ready to play the field, or maybe I don't want to pay child support, so I'm gonna get married. You know what I'm saying? So these are like some of the issues that some of these characters you know, for uh, some of the reasons why some of these characters got married, you know, so, um, you know, and, it's, and I'm not trying to tell people, like, not to get married, um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is expose those issues why people get married and try to help them understand that these are not the reasons you should get married to anybody. Okay, okay, it's not the wrong with that, um, right. and you also, along with, you know, being one of the writers, you also act in the, the web series as well, correct? Well, no, I'm not acting. I'm actually videoing it. I'm directing it. I'm producing it. I'm, you know, I'm doing all the footwork. Um, no, I'm not acting in it. Okay. Um, there's, like, there's, there's, like quite a, there's quite a few shows on Wayward Television where you can find other actors, including myself. Um, but no, I'm not in this one. Um, you have actors like Rick Palmer. You have uh, Roxy Rose. You have, uh, of course, Radiant. You know, and, and a plethora of other actors actresses in it. Um, Dom, I, I want to leave him out. Dominique, Antonio Spencer, you have Elwood, Ingram. You know, these are all some great, great actors and actresses. Um, what's, what's funny about the series is that I, I started casting it last year. I probably went through probably about 20 people before I got the cast I have right now. Okay. So, yeah, wow. So it was like, you know, but everything came together this summer. I don't know what was special about this summer, but everything came together this summer. So It was just you know, time. About it. Yeah, it was time. You know, all of my actors came on board. You know, it seemed like everybody found their characters this summer. I was like, damn, I should have waited until this summer to cast it. Like, <laughs> hey, man, uh, you, need, you need some raw talent? <laughs> you said, huh? You need some raw talent? Oh, my gosh. He, he asked he if you He said the phone was breaking up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. Hey, 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 uh, what do we need any more talent? Yeah, you need any raw talent because you got you got a uh, you got a guy right here. I'm, I'm raw talent. I got I could uh you know I could, uh, I could do some things on the show. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know, that, I mean, that's what's up. I mean, I have, have you looked at it yet? <laughs> huh? I said you have it because you're on the radio. Say it again. I said, have you looked at it yet? And you uh, can't say you have it because you're on the radio. No, I haven't. I haven't. Ah, so you have some stuff, man. I have so, it. How you gonna be part of the show? You don't know that book? This is the this the first. I'm just hearing about it just now, like <laughs> liter literally like like minutes, minutes ago. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. You but know what? I'm just hearing about it. You know what? But I'm gonna do what I can to support. And uh, if well, you if you need any raw talent, you know, I'm your guy. 
Well, the web series, um, the it's already been sh is it, everything has already been shot, right? For the entire well, web series. Not, not all the things. We're, we're shooting them on a monthly basis. So everything we shot this past month is coming out this month. So I'm shooting it every month and just taking my time with it because I had did that once upon a time and just and shot everything. Last summer was when I shot everything. But I mean, almost everything. But when you know, when people are committed, you know, you have to recap and shoot things over again. So I was like, you know what? What I'm gonna do is. I'm going to just shoot it on a monthly basis and put it out every month. And that's how we've been doing it. And it seems to be working. And just in case you got to replace the model, you know, like I told you, you know, you just put out an ant alert. And, <laughs> put, you know, put an audience, you know, and just, uh, you know, let them know the person being replaced and just keep the show going. Okay, so the first series has already dropped on July 6th. Um, how can right. people go onto YouTube and find that series so that that way they can watch it and then catch up? for the next one that will be dropped next Wednesday. Yes, on the 12th at 7, 30 p.m. So tune into that. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, let me just say they have to watch this show first, and then when they, we're done, they can go on to tune in. <laughs> I mean, let me just, let's, I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, you, you see how she just swerved you, bro? You see how she just, hey, yeah, see, we see, gotta make sure, when, see she, when she do that, you got to set it straight. You got to set it straight, bro. But they watching you too hey, here, man. dummy. Okay. And it's got plenty of, like I said, it's got plenty of content. So if never say I do isn't your thing, you still got the defecation, you got the chase perspective, you got what's hot Baltimore. There's plenty of stuff on there for you to look at. Okay, so just so that everyone knows, because he you know, if you didn't catch it, it's wait what television. Um, you can yeah. go on to YouTube and locate that. How can people follow find you and follow you and keep up with everything that you have going on on social media? Right now, you can find me at Titus James everywhere. Like, I, I, I'm trying not to be up on that. So just put in Titus James on Instagram. You'll find me for Titus James on Vine. You'll find me for Titus James on Facebook. You'll find me there, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, again, he has a lot of things going on, and um, the most recent and current thing that is jumping off right now for him is the... Um, you know, this, this web series that's out. So definitely watch and support, you know, leave him feedback on his, um, you know, it's like a message thing or something that's on YouTube or follow him on social yeah, media to, to give him your feet, his, you know, feedback and things like that. He'll actually be coming by the show in person. Um, not next week, the following week. So you'll be, you'll have time to catch up on two episodes for the web series and, you know, be able to call in to give your thoughts and, um, you know, things like that. So I'm going to watch it tonight. I'm watching yeah. it tonight. It's about 15 minutes long, 15, 20 minutes long, right? Yeah, it's about 17 minutes. But it's a good 17 minutes, you know what I'm saying? The show is broke up in a way where you won't even feel like you're watching 17 minutes. Okay. You don't even have, like, an intro in the beginning. It starts off with the show, and then here comes the intro, and then you got two more scenes, and then it's over. You know, it's like, it's, it's like nothing is even going on. You won't even miss that 17 minutes. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I'm sure that it's really good. Um, I'm definitely going to watch. Eddie said he's going to watch. Where Everybody's going to support this. And once again, he will be here not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, so that that way, you know, we could talk about this in person and, you know, go from there. Yeah, I, I play a good bad guy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, again, thank you so much. <laughs> right, right, right. But thank you so much for taking our call. We will definitely, we look forward to you coming by. And again, we're going to support and check out the series. Thank you. Thank y'all for having me on. Good luck to you, bro. All right, man. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Um, Why don't we do like a little, a little uh, show like. We're, well, do, we're doing a well, show. Like, no, I mean, we, like, we like, do I, one every week. Right, actually. right, right. Yeah. I'm talking <laughs> where like, are you? I'm talking like uh, some kind of reality show, like where a, a camera fo follows us around for a whole day or, you know, something like that, you know. And Get, what are we going to film the times when you don't show up for the uh, show? You know what? You know what, Jesus? You are, you are <laughs> Jesus again. You are Jesus again, Diamond. You know I don't need that. You don't need that? I need that crap. Oh, my <laughs> word. Wow. Notice I, I ain't cussed. Yeah, because he, yeah. he's on, you know, he's three weeks 
you know, into his sobriety until this weekend. And, yeah, I'm going to fall off the he, wagon this He probably this went weekend. to church on Tuesday, I Thursday, to, and Sunday. I did not go to church. Um, you I, know. I did not. He's almost, he's close to walking on water now, so, you know. I, I pretty much Eddie. can. I, I pretty much can. I, wow. Yeah. Wow. Really? Pretty much. Almost. Yeah. Just about. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, anything interesting coming up over the next week for you? Yes. I'm going on a, I'm going on a, a retreat. Oh. I'm going to take a, take a bus up to, uh. Pennsylvania, going a little retreat, and uh, I'm going to pray all weekend. <laughs> yeah. Eddie, cut it out. I, I'm, I'm, well, probably uh, for about two or three hours, and then and then uh, join the Do party. some ungodly things to your lady. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. A mess. What, what you got going on? Work, as work, usual. Work, work. Work, 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 work. I have weekends. Um, this month is a very, very busy month where I'll have, it. you know, sometimes one or two week, two events in a day. Um, I, it's, it is what it is. Thank God I love what I do, you know. So well, just looking to grow each and every day. That's right. In my craft and in personal life. So. Being busy is good. Yeah, it is. It's, it it's is. a blessing. God bless you, my child. <laughs> Please do something about him, Diamond. <laughs> All right, so let, let me say that um, the nominations are open for the 2015, the fifth annual Baltimore Music Awards. People can go to BaltimoreMusicAwards.com and cast their nominations uh, in 13 different categories, uh, including radio show, radio station, uh, R&B singer, hip-hop artist, male, female, uh, DJ of the Year, a lot of different, um, Eye Candy of the Year, a lot of different categories. Uh, go to BaltimoreMusicAwards.com, uh, click vote, and just pick a category and type in the name of the person that you want to nominate in that category. The nomination period runs until September 19th. After September 19th, we tally up, and whoever got the most votes, three people in each category become the finalists. And then we start the voting. Oh, uh, cool. So that's when the voting starts. The red carpet ceremony is November the 5th. So this is like a People's Choice Award. At the Charles Theater. Pretty it much. is exactly a People's Choice. Uh, that's awesome. And so, so it could be no, no, you know, no shafting of people. Correct. You know? It's strictly based on the, the vote of the people. Strictly. And uh, it, the red carpet ceremony is hosted by Lil Black. Uh, and like I said, that is November the 5th. So... Get your nominations on. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, Are You the Bomb 20th Anniversary Edition is available now. Everywhere music is sold. Uh, Lovely Journey's new single, Maya Moore, is also out and about. And I'm getting ready to announce something soon. Yeah, you keep saying that. My like, campaign, yes. I mean, but when? Like, when? When? When am I going to make the announcement? Yes. Soon. Asshole. Anyway, so nice. <laughs> some of the things that nice. I, I the, you know, I do a lot of private events, um, and I said that I needed to do better with announcing my public events as well. Yes, so if definitely. people want to, you know, stop by, get a cocktail, take a picture, say hello, get a what? Support, take a picture, get no, a, no, cocktail, what, a, co- a cocktail, co- cocktail, co- drink, co- beverage. You're getting, you're giving. Put get a cocktail. They can purchase. Purchase a cocktail. A co- <laughs> not at all. Not in this life. I know you better stop playing. Tail um, or cock? No, she's the same. August fifteenth. No cocks in the tail. No cock. Oh, no August, cocks in the tail. August fifteenth. No cock zone. There is an event at Mood Lounge um, that's located at three forty seven North Calvert Street. The former. That's the former club three forty seven. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, you know, one of my clients, longtime clients and friends, um, he's having something there. We will, you know. When is this? Be there August 15th. August 15th. August 15th. That's a Saturday? That is a Saturday. Yep. Um, along with August 30th, um, another dope ass event um, from another that. longtime client and friend. It's, that event will be at 1808 Woodlawn Drive. Uh, any tickets? To any event that um, my company is working on, you can always contact me for tickets. Um, 
MBBHS underscore official business page. That or you was can just really fast you said that. I know. MBBHS underscore business official business page. Or you can just type in Nina B and it'll come up um, where you can keep up with our different things that we have going on. Also, Floyd Mayweather finally confirmed his fight September yes. 12th. It's going to happen. Well, I mean, I had already been promoting the, the you know the fight parties. People need to go ahead and get their bartenders locked in. I think Floyd's gonna catch you, an L. I, I'm looking forward to this fight as well. But um, if you book by September first, you will receive a gallon of our knockout punch for your event. So you know, definitely contact us to get your bartenders for your fight party. Um, and those are you know the, the, my little announcement. That I needed to make. Nice. So, but um, go ahead, Eddie. Tell people how they can find you on social media. You can reach me on Facebook, um, Eddie Relationship Therapist West, and uh, you can also reach me on IG. IG. Um, yeah, EddieWest.com. D O T C O M. D O T C O M. Written out. Yeah. Yep, and uh, I I don't use any cuss words. Uh, if you want to book me for a party, you want to call me for advice, uh, I give advice on how to break up, how to get back at your ex, and all that good stuff. <sighs> He upsets my nerves. <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh, me, uh, very simple. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. Uh, also, Radio on Fire is on all uh, social networks. Um, so we're adding a lot of new content here. And um, wow, that was what is that phone? That's his whole this? phone. I told that's him earlier to do something about that whole phone. No, that's God. his work phone. Yeah. His work, work phone. phone. Yeah, okay. That's my job calling me. <laughs> 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 Got work tonight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, definitely. Uh, we started a new show on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Chanel Nicole Show. So, Chanel. Congratulations. Uh, yep. So, she is starting her own, her own show, Chanel Nicole, from uh, formerly of Sugar Mama Radio. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so there are going to be some other shows starting as well, but Luscious Kisses has a show on Thursdays, uh, a late night adult, uh, very adult talk show. Yes. With the, uh, the porn star stripper rapper rapper. Can't forget that. Uh, she does what? Oh, well, yeah. I guess. Wow, that's all she's around. acting like she's fucking. I got you. That's all around. Uh, that's all around. Yeah. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, live here. Uh, Thursday nights at um, 10 p.m. So, wow. yeah, so a lot, a lot of things going on. That's uh, can, can, can anybody slide through? Absolutely. Right. Well, not anybody. You can, you can, yeah. I mean, I like Radio on Fire through. people can come through. Yeah, yeah I'm, absolutely. I'm slide through for that. You are? I, I think I will. I mean, such a creep. tomorrow, well, they tomorrow. Might need, and and, then, and then get on the bus so he can go to his retreat and Well, let me, let me tell you what their topic is tomorrow before you say that you're going to slide through. Tomorrow, their topic is... Uh, Gagging and something, gagging and re- something about that. It okay, deep I'll throating, something in. like that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they, they probably need a man's. Uh, you know, That's what I'm saying. And they they were trying to get you, they were trying to get somebody here. To about, like, what do you gag from? So no, 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 they, they weren't talking about that. It's not about men gagging. Not about men gagging. I know no. it is. So what insight can you put to that conversation? Oh, oh okay. Just, gosh, That's what I'm asking. So what can you contribute to the conversation? I can just help guide them in conversation. You know? Okay. Uh, you know, if they need a man, they need a man's point of view. You know, I could just hey, no, not like that. You know, you know, she got to spit. So I, I think I think that they said that they were going to be doing some demonst- some some live demonstrations. Oh. So oh. you could have said you could have you could have volunteered yourself. No, I'm not volunteering myself. You, know, I, I you just made him real nervous. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't lead that life. <laughs> I don't lead that life, so I'm not volunteering yeah, myself. Yeah, but I, but I, I think know. they, I think they're gonna be doing some. That's what I heard. Oh, I may have some to stop by. Oh wow, are you uh, gonna be demonstrating as well? I want to see. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And I think one of the first shows when Radiance came by, we had a very um, graphic conversation about things like that. So um, I would just like to see. She hasn't been back since, actually. Yeah. Um, you got to bring her back. She was cool. Yeah, I will. I'll have to drag her up here one day because yeah. yeah, we we were supposed to finish that conversation. Yeah, we were supposed to have like a. I think her inbox yeah, probably was was on fire. That is how you got here. Yeah, yep. I think I think her inbox probably was on fire. Probably, and, and she <laughs> said no more radio on fire. Just right. Inbox on fire. But she's actually a part of the web series as well. She's yeah. one of the yeah. um, actresses. Um, and one of the actresses she plays she plays a wife. On there, um, I, I can't reveal too much, so I'll just leave it there. You have to watch and support. Yeah, I think but they, I think they need me on that show for some reason. I, 
Ever since, ever since he called, I think well, I'm sure he has. I'm sure he has tons of other things that he he'll has keep going your on. resume so, on file. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. There's Any, always room for a bad guy. It's always room for a bad guy, and you'll play the perfect one. Right. Um, anywho, you know, as always, you can find me, um, Nina B. Bartending, um, Facebook, Instagram, website. And um, the website is being revamped. I have, you know, some new things coming, so I'm excited about that. Um, some new um, events that I will actually be hosting myself. I'm a girly girl, and some people have been um, at me for some things, about some things that I enjoy doing, and I'm about to expand and share that, you know, some of the things that I enjoy um, with other people and, you know, be hosting events. So look out for those things, um, you know, so... I don't know. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Peace. Later. You're a jerk. <laughs>